when you're looking for a peach, because they're, they pick them tree ripe, they're generally going to be on the, the harder side, so you can't like buy a peach usually and bite right into it. You got to let it ripen, and to let it ripen, you should leave it at room temperature for a day or two, and then it, it'll just be awesome. You know, keep them in something cool. It doesn't necessarily have to be the refrigerator, but you don't want to keep them in your car, that type of thing, because then they just get soft and they go bad a lot faster. So if you have a nice air-conditioned house, you know, um, that seems to work really good for a couple days. If you do want to keep them for a longer period of time, as far as like a week or so, you know, um, you can just put them in the fridge or you can even freeze them. They're super easy to freeze. All you have to do is just put them in a freezer bag and throw them in the freezer and you can enjoy them all fall, all winter long. What you want to do when you buy your meat at a farm market like this, of course there's no refrigeration. So you want to keep it as cool as possible, maybe double bag it. Here at our booth we offer cooler bags and ice packs for the cooler bags. But if you don't have that choice, just double bag them, keep them in your car, um, keep them in the shade definitely until you get them home and put them right in the refrigerator when you get home. So when you, when you buy the meat, keep it separate from anything else that you've purchased because most likely the other product is on the warm side and the meat is on the cold side. So just wrap it separately, maybe in a couple bags will help. If, if you're going to, the mark, to a market to buy dairy products, you should plan on taking along a cooler with you so that you can um, put it, you know, keep your product refrigerated on your travel home. Um, if you end up at a market and decide to buy a dairy product and don't have a cooler with you, then you need to um, be looking at the more stable products like your, the hard aged cheeses or even uh, fresh chev, which like what we make, um, that is a pretty stable product and can be without refrigeration for a couple hours without a problem. If you're, when you're going to eat them, it's best to bring them out, let them warm up for a couple hours before you serve them because your flavor profile is much better in a cheese if it's had time to, to acclimate a little bit in temperature. The, the, taking them right directly out of the refrigerator and eating them uh, is going to mask a lot of the flavor profile. So the most important thing to remember when uh, transporting and storing your produce from a farmer's market is to keep it out of the direct sun and also to keep it uh, from being stored in a hot place like inside of a parked car for very long. Um, cloth and paper bags are always a better option than plastic bags, especially with greens, something like a lettuce mix. If that bag of lettuce mix is closed and sits in the sun even for a few minutes, it will deteriorate very quickly when you take it home and refrigerate it. Uh, another, another good thing to know is to always refrigerate perishable produce as soon as you get home and to keep things like potatoes and storage onions and garlic in a cool spot but not in the refrigerator and away from direct sunlight.